But no, that's good. Mission complete. So we complete the prologue. Um, that was a really good prologue. Again, was it bad the Mass Effect 1's prologue? I think Mass Effect 1 prologue just put you straight into the deep end. Uh, this was more of a, uh, a storyline. Uh, but I enjoyed it. So let's uh, carry on with the game. So let me write. Gryffindor? Nah, 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 nah. Ravenclaw. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? I mean, I don't really... Yeah, I don't really know what to do, to be honest. What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappeared. We've got no target to go after. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. That makes sense. Um, I think do whatever it takes because at the moment we actually don't know what we're dealing with. We're gonna find out who did this and take him down. Nothing gets in our way. Am I clear? Perfectly, Commander. Good to have you here, Shepard. Because I'll be both with me. I trust Jacob more than Miranda because Miranda doesn't like to speak to us. But, uh... I get it. He's just spent two years and so much money probably recreating me. Hey, Norton. How's it going? Congrats on your new job, by the way. Okay. Wait, have I been given another weapon? Oh. I've been given a fully auto weapon. Let's go. Thank you, Cerberus. How very kind of you. Anything back here? Oh, the, oh have I got camera shake on? Excuse me. It turned motion blur off. Oh my goodness. Look at the bounce on this. I'll have to get used to that. I'm good, I'm good. How's Resident Evil 4? Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Hmm. That is strange. Why would they get up mid mid food? Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. What are her abilities? Warp and overload. Okay, so just like Wilson, we've got overload. Ooh, spare parts, salvage. One thousand credits. Lovely. Again, credits were actually pretty useful in Mass Effect 1 because I could just buy really good weapons. Um. Oh my goodness. Wait, let's use war. There we go. I did not see them. Uh, let's pull. And I'll use a... Yeah, let's do them too. Shoot them before they take out your shield. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's
effects shouldn't have been hostile. They should have recognized us as humans. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. It was only if the down. Okay, that makes sense. I'm trying to heal. I'm... I think I just accidentally overcharged. Oops. But yeah, Resident Evil 4, when I played it, the original, I was more action based, not horror. Again, that's why I was saying to you, like, it's not scary. I mean, the remake is probably more scary. Um. Bungee gel. Lovely. Do we just heal randomly then? Like over time? Uh, that one all nice and close to each other. There we go. What do we get for this one? 2,000 credits a game. Okay. I've seen it. Wait, more enemies? Uh, that's overload. Oh, I hit the... Do you use fire armor all, all time? I wonder. Let's keep going though. Stop right there! Franta, you said you'd let me handle this. Oh, <gasps> Tully! Wait. Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that. You're alive? Remember when I gave you that get data, Tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Franta, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? It brought me back to life. No. Maybe we should ask. I know Cerberus has a bad path, but they're the only group investigating these missing colonies. The Council turned its back on humanity. I haven't. Tally, you aren't seriously considering trusting Cerberus? No, I'm trusting Shepard. And besides, we could use the help. Yeah, you can. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Yeah, go on, Tali. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. Good to see you, Tally. So we need to find Vitor. Right through the mechs. Oh. Plus nine in that one. Okay, so it shows me the direction. So that was an issue with Mass Effect 1. It wouldn't really give you guidance on exactly where to go. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. But it's nice that this one at least does that. 
Oh, shoot. Hello. That was a total guess, and I got it right. Let's go. 2,000 credits. We'll take it. Anything else of use? Nope. Let's open the door and let's fight. Use overload on Okay, overload specialist. That seems like a trophy. They just want to save their people. I understand it. But we kind of need to know what's happened to the human colony because, uh, yeah, the people have kind of disappeared. If they didn't notice. Oh, hello. Okay, it seems like the abilities reload so much quicker in this game. They did want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Taking cover! Right, get behind. Come on, Jacob. Oh, that's big mech. Don't worry, we've got overload. Oh, that is brutal. Oh, that just spawned in. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is going to be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Nah, it's going to be fine. Overload. Then I'll use that power or oh, disruptor. Disruptor is probably best. And adrenaline rush. Have I got better weapons? I've... Wait. Let's use the grenade launcher. Okay, give me a second. Sniper now. Focus heavy armor to weaken it. Think it's dead. For heavy en energy, so what is that for? Ah, okay, so I need heavy ammo for the grenade launchers. That's good, that's good. Uh, let's do some more bypassing. This one's for 3,000, apparently. Or is it time limit? Okay, no. We got past half and we still got 3,000. So that's good. Um, change weapon back to the assault rifle. Just easier in times of close, close combat. Let's check over here though. Medkit.
speak to Tully? This Tully's? is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded, Shepard. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. Okay. Okay, so we need to scan this, maybe? Let's let's this scan. Is valuable. Research data recovered. Two thousand. Ooh. You can now afford the M twenty two excavator shotgun research project. Um, a squad points. Let's spend some points. Um, Jacob. Put that for you. That for you and Barry. Squad member is not loyal. Damn. Okay. And I have none left to spend. Um. Okay, let's open the door. Monsters coming back. Max will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? Hello? Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming, have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide, have to hide. Mechs will protect. Swarms coming. You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The... the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pasted it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. It looks like Geth. They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Not him. Monsters didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. Okay. What well, happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. Thank you, Beetle. Them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. I don't think he'll be coming what? with us. Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Fraza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. 
You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I want to, but I can't. I've got a mission of my own. It's too important for me to abandon, even for you. When it's over, and I'm still alive, we'll see what happens. That sounds dangerous. What are you doing? Hi, Steph. I don't think Cerberus needs to hear about it, but it's in Geth space. That should tell you how important it is. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Yep. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Where are they taking the humans then? Interesting. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. The data from his Omnitool should be quite useful. We're still analyzing it. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? Because you saved? They're agents for the Reapers. It could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the Collectors True. getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. Exactly. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Miranda and Jacob aren't enough? How many do you need to keep me in check? I've made it clear to Miranda and Jacob that you're in charge. You decide who joins your squad. Everyone else on this list was chosen specifically for this mission. They're the best. I'll do the best I can with what you've given me. I'm sure you will. Before you go, two things. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. Sounds good. What else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the Please best. Please be Joker. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? Yes! I believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. 
I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night. The Normandy? Ah, uh, it's not the Normandy, but it's... It looks similar. We'll take it. That looks clean. Oh. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. Oh, they've recalled it Normandy. Okay. I thought they were going to actually rename it something else, but Normandy, number two. Get knocked down. Get up again. Joking always gets the love. Joke is great. Sarcasm on point. Ooh, that thing is a piece of beauty. No man's... <laughs> Nice, another mission complete. So we uh, gained up to level four. Collectors confirmed the source of tax on Freedom's progress. Uh, Quarry and Survivor Vitor returned with Tally to the migrant fleet. We'll examine his Omni tool for data for anything useful. Uh, mini fusion array. Uh, you must recruit a head scientist to build this upgrade. Heavy weapon upgrade plus 15% weapon ammo, heavy weapon ammo capacity. Uh, the power cell technology used by heavy weapons is fairly old, but can be improved by rebuilding the core with the modern components. Uh, these improvements allow standard power cells to yield more shots per power cell and allow for more total shots to be fired. Okay, so we got told by the elusive man that we need to go to... Omega-4, I, th I think it was Omega-4, uh, for a head scientist, so that should be fine. Uh, we found 19,000, and we found 2,000 Iridium. Uh, stream, I'm going to quickly go and grab a drink before we move on with the story, but this game is, it, it's good, I like it, I like, I don't know, a lot of the stuff that was missing in Mass Effect 1 is in this game, so... You know, it's not many times where, like, the second game just hits everything, like, early on as well. Because the start of Mass Effect 1 was insane. Oh, I will do, I will do. I need to go and get Caden. 